So how many times have you remortgaged this house? Uh, only three. Three? <laughs> only three, but that was to add two levels, too. Yeah. This is the guy. This is the collector. This is his house. Stephen Sansweet is right here. Uh, what do you suppose <laughs> is the most valuable piece you have in the entire house? Well, why don't you come this way? Walk this, this oh, way. I know a, where we're headed. This was a piece I put together via an auction, and I got the costume part of Darth Vader and the helmet from a different source and some of the other pieces from a third source. But they're all from Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. And it is, is an so authentic cool. costume used in the making of the movie. How much you pay for that? I really don't want to no. remember. Yeah. But I can tell you that someone else, uh, George Lucas, put up for auction the helmet and the face mask. Yeah. About three years ago, it went for $20,000. Hello. Well, what's the tackiest thing you got? Tacky? Place? Well, that's yeah. also Darth, I think. How about, direct from Tijuana, a black <laughs> velvet painting of Darth Vader? That would be hideous. It looks, uh, Darth looks like a kitten there. It wasn't quite as bad as the hair painting of Darth Vader. <laughs> um, let's see. Mm. Most prized possession. How about that? I've got a couple this way. Let me guess. The chest pieces, right? Yes, the chest pieces, indeed. Let me, let me get your yeah, hold my, Thank uh, you. Hold my claws here. All right. These are two of the chess pieces from that famous game aboard the Millennium Falcon when Chewbacca was not too happy that uh, R2-D2 was winning. Yeah. And C-3PO said, let the Wookiee win. <laughs> well, what are they made out of? These, are, I think, are paper mache. This one is a solid one, and this is actually a stop-motion one. It just has little metal, almost paper clip like joints, so yeah. it could move frame by frame. How about this guy? Actually from the movie? This is actually a helmet that uh, Anthony Daniels wore yeah. in Empire Strikes Back. And you you got to believe the guy has the smallest wow. neck in the world. Well, I've interviewed him. He is a slight guy. Yeah, he man, is. Man, claustrophobia. Pretty amazing. I barely get that on my hand, Eek. I think. Uh, over Pencil neck, it comes to mind, Pencil right? Pencil neck, yeah. yes. I won't say geek. Over here, this is a speeder bike scout helmet. I think this oh. is one of the guys who actually crashed into the tree. Into the tree, yeah. He's you know, it's broken. You see? It's cracked right there. Somebody tries to take it from me. Eek. I get Han Solo's pistol. Really from the movie? This is a prop one that when they didn't have to do close-ups, this is made out of a very light resin, so it's a lot less heavy than the metal yeah. gun that they use for close-ups. It's actually very, very light. This is cool. We're going to look around some more. But make sure you watch. If you don't keep watching... Oh, no!